do you know what's big, rocky, and about to have a close encounter with Earth? That's right, it's the infamous Apophis asteroid. Hey, what's up space enthusiasts? You won't believe the news we've got for you today. NASA is planning to send a swarm of tiny spacecraft to visit the infamous asteroid Apophis. And guess what? It's coming close enough for a shave. Let's dive right in. Named after the Egyptian god of chaos, Apophis is a pretty fitting name for an asteroid that once had us questioning our cosmic safety. But don't worry folks, further analysis showed it just wants to be friends with us. Well, at least for about a hundred years. Are you serious? In 2029, Apophis is going to pass so close to Earth that it'll be within the altitude of some satellites. You might even catch a glimpse of it without a telescope. Talk about a cosmic photobomb. Now, NASA wants to take advantage of this prime opportunity for some deep space stalking. Imagine an army of tiny spacecraft all watching Apophis's every move. They'll be the paparazzi of the asteroid world. The spacecraft would be in addition to the ongoing OSIRIS-REx asteroid sampling mission for a study of Apophis. The repurposed mission will be called OSIRIS Apex or OSIRIS Apophis Explorer. But what's the point of all this asteroid stalking? Well, NASA wants to learn more about how space rocks behave in deep space and how their orbits might shift due to sunlight or gravitational influences. It's like learning the dance moves of cosmic ballet, and Apophis is our star performer. So aside from satisfying our cosmic curiosity, these mini spacecraft will also help us learn how to protect our beloved planet from any future space bullies. Now, this idea is only at the mission concept stage. There's no budget yet, but there's some serious momentum building. It looks like planetary defense is becoming quite the space trend, and it doesn't stop there. The Lunar and Planetary Institute is hosting a virtual workshop all about Apophis and planetary defense. Not to mention, NASA plans to request the United Nations to designate 2029 as the International Year of Planetary Defense. Discovered in 2004, this asteroid is roughly 1,100 feet 340 meters wide, or about the size of three and a half football fields. If you thought your neighbor's kid playing the drums was loud, imagine this cosmic rock star crashing into Earth. In a world where our friendly cosmic neighbor Apophis takes a wrong turn, what would happen if it crash-landed on Earth? Well, for starters, think of it as the Goldilocks of space rocks. Not too small to go unnoticed, but not too big to wipe us all out. <laughs> Lucky us, right? If Apophis were to impact Earth, it would release a massive amount of energy, equivalent to hundreds of megatons of TNT. To put that into perspective, it's like Mother Nature having a really, really bad fireworks accident. But as disastrous as that sounds, the consequences would be significant but not catastrophic on a global scale. So in a way, it's like a cosmic fire drill that we'd rather not participate in. Now, the consequences would greatly depend on the impact location. If it crashed into a densely populated area, well, let's just say it wouldn't be pretty. We'd be talking about immense death tolls and infrastructure damage. On the flip side, if Apophis decided to take a dip and impact at an ocean, it would generate massive tsunamis, causing widespread coastal destruction and loss of life. So either way, we'd prefer if Apophis just stayed in its lane and admired Earth from a distance. Now, even after the initial impact, Apophis wouldn't be done causing trouble. The collision would eject enormous amounts of dust and debris into the atmosphere, potentially leading to short-term climate effects, such as temporary cooling or regional changes in precipitation patterns. It's like Apophis throwing a massive, uninvited surprise party for Earth and leaving us to clean up the mess. But our space agencies have calculated its trajectory with incredible precision, and they're confident it'll be a safe flyby. While we can all breathe a sigh of relief knowing that Apophis won't be causing any chaos or destruction, its initial doomsday asteroid reputation serves as a reminder that we need to be prepared for potential threats from space. It's not all fun and games, folks. Sometimes, space rocks can be real party crashers. 
Our space agencies and astronomers are constantly monitoring the skies for potentially hazardous objects. But hey, as long as we keep an eye on these cosmic party crashers and have a good disaster management plan in place, we can avoid any uninvited guests ruining the fun. Apophis won't just be saying hello in 2029, it's going to make a few more appearances in the future too. The next notable close encounter is set for 2036, but again, we're in the clear. Apophis will keep a respectful distance. We'll also have another opportunity to say what's up in 2068, although there's a tiny, minuscule, almost negligible chance of an impact. But hey, at least we've got time to prepare, right? In the meantime, let's enjoy the fact that we're living in a time when we can witness extraordinary cosmic events like Apophis's flyby. Who knows, maybe our space rock friend will inspire a new generation of scientists, engineers, and space enthusiasts. So make sure you mark your calendars for April 13th, 2029, and get ready to enjoy this rare celestial spectacle. That's it for today, fellow space nerds. If you enjoyed this close encounter with Apophis, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting space news. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the cosmos. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.